So I'm excited to say I'm with Danny McKeever from ETG Island, who's a, uh, a technical engineer. Danny, you've got some new software that you're supplying here. Can you tell us what it is and what it does? Um, the software is called Camplete. It's uh, NC verification software. Um, what's, the main, what's the main aim for that then? Uh, to verify your, your G code before you put it on the machine, before you go to the trouble of setting up tools, um, sourcing work holding materials, you can check uh, for errors, collisions, potential collisions, um, check that the movements are all okay um, before posting the program out to your actual machine. It saves you time on setup. So it's important to say this isn't a CAD CAM system, is it? This isn't a CAD, this is purely no. verification. Yes, it's purely verification. It's available as an add-on to your chosen CAM package. And it works in conjunction with most popular CAM packages? It, it does, yeah. It works in conjunction with MasterCAM, which we sell um, also with all the, the other main CAM packages that you could think of. And what about machine tools then? Because I see here we've got what looks distinctly like a Quasar 5-axis machine and a Nakamura on the right. Yeah. Will it work with any, any machine tool? Uh, it will, it will, um, Camplete will have to build a machine model and they do have uh, a base of, they have all the Nakamuras and some of the Quasars, currently they're working on uh, building up a database of machines, so some manufacturers they will have all of their machines, other manufacturers they're working on. So, so there will be a directory of machine tools that, so e, let, let's, say, let's say, I know this isn't the want of ETG, but let's say you haven't got all ETG machines, but you've got some others as well. Yeah. There's a good possibility that, that within that directory, that machine tool will exist as well. Yes, it, it'll be available or it'll be made available soon. So as soon as you, you say to Complete that you want that machine model built, they will start working on that machine model. So it's quite evident, we take this Nakamura on the right here, there's a lot going on in that machine. It's a twin turret machine with twin spindle. Yeah. What you're really trying to do here then is make sure there's no collisions. Correct, yes. And um, what you can do with Camplete is import actual solid models of your work holding, your workpiece, and your tooling, um, which allows you to check for collisions, interference, um, and allows you to optimize your tool lengths and, and that kind of thing. And, and what about, is this going to be able to give you an accurate cycle time as well then because it knows the kinematics of the machine or more accurate, accurate than a CAM package might? Um, it should be more accurate than a CAM package because it contains the real kinematics and the, particularly the acceleration deceleration information for each spindle. Um, so a CAM package might say it takes X amount of time to travel from here to here, but in real life the, the real time might be slightly longer than that due to acceleration, deceleration, um, and due to the actual lengths of the machine. So the, the software contains a full 3D model of the machine, um, including all its kinematics. Um, for instance, here you see the uh, part catcher working. Um, that's pretty much in real time. Um, and what I notice here at the top of the screen here is we actually currently have no errors or warnings to report. But as we go through the program then, are we going to start to identify some issues? Yes. Um, the the Camplete software, con as I said, it, it, com it contains the parameters and kinematics of the real machine. Uh, will give you So here we've got five warnings, warnings yeah. now. And, and these are warnings that will come up on the actual machine. And so I can could we have a look at what those warnings are? So those warnings are, it's telling me I've got an outdated function not supported, which is M427. And it's scrolling through them as it's running in real time. So it doesn't like that M427, M428 code. Um, I know myself that that code is, is not going to be a problem on the real machine. So is it airing on the side of caution then with 12 warnings? Are there certain things that you could get away with? Yes, absolutely. The, uh, the software what about is, errors? Errors has now come up. Um, what about yeah, so I've got a C-axis movement error. It's, it thinks that I've commanded the C-axis while in spindle mode, um, which would alarm the machine out in real life. So let's say you wanted to clear those errors then. Is it as simple as, as just pressing a button and it, and it rewrites moves in order to uh, accommodate or, or get rid of those errors? It won't actually rewrite your, your NC. You, you have to go back into the NC and edit it yourself, which you can do through the software. Um, if, if I highlight these errors, you can identify them, you can see where they are, and you can go back to your NC and edit and, and then, and then you can then that can be imported straight into the machine tool. Correct. Yes, you can you can um, export your resulting your fixed G code, and using DNC software send it directly to the machine. So, it's it's about making the workflow more efficient. Um, 
connecting uh, the software to the machine. And I suppose when you've, when you've got a significant volume of components, which you might have on a machine like this, even if this does, uh, you, you can trim, save, you know, a second, two seconds on each part over, over a period of time, that's a, that's a big saving, isn't it? Correct. Uh, what, what it allows you to do is, um, particularly with a, a, uh, a multitasking turning center, you need to synchronize your, your turret movements and your spindle movements to optimize cycle time. Um, this allows you to uh, redraw synchronization points, regenerate the program, run it, check it for cycle time. If it looks good, send it back out to the machine. And I notice here we've got it on the Quasar 5 axis machine as well. Yes. Obviously, same applies. Uh, probably um, last question for you, Danny, here. Yeah. You know, this, this is these kind of systems aren't low cost you know they're not cheap but they do deliver a hell of a service and can save you a lot of money over over a period of time especially when it comes to collisions as well on machines Correct. but how do you go about here at the engineering technology group in Ireland in supplying this is it generally with a machine so let's say someone buys a Nakamura machine there's a big investment there this is kind of a bolt on to that um, that that's how we're aiming to to pitch this we are going to bundle this with machines um, so we are going to want to sell every Nakamura we sell with this verification software as a, as a benefit to the, to the manufacturer. It's a benefit to everybody, it's a benefit to the user and it's a benefit to you at ETG Island because yes. you know the customer is going to be getting the best out of their machine. Uh, just remind us finally again what the software is called. It's a complete verification software. Okay, now available from ETG, not obviously only in England, Wales and Scotland, but over here in Ireland as well.